Hey guys, welcome to the channel and today we'll be talking about the brand new Xbox One X. So Microsoft has released its answer to the PS4 Pro, a solid 4K capable beast of a machine. Originally this console premiered as Xbox Scorpio, but we've later learned at E3 that this Xbox will be called Xbox One X. Is this a worthy successor to Xbox One? Xbox One S? From what I can see, I definitely think so. So let's just get into the specs real quick. So looking at the raw horsepower of the CPU, we're looking at eight custom x86 cores clocked at 2.3 gigahertz versus the eight custom Jaguar cores clocked at 1.7 gigahertz for the Xbox One. So the GPU inside the Scorpio contains 40 Radeon compute units running at 1,172 megahertz, comparing to the PS4 Pro's 900 megahertz and the Xbox One's 850 megahertz. So the Xbox One S is a beautiful, slim, streamlined console. Just take a look at it. So what does all these specs mean for games? So according to Microsoft, they're aiming to play games at native 4K or 900p or higher. So that means that we're going to be getting buttery smooth games that were made for the Xbox One, given that we now have greater bandwidth and more processing horsepower at our disposal. During the unveiling of the Xbox One X, we saw several games, and the most noteworthy was Forza 7 running at 60 p I was definitely impressed with the amount of effects that they were able to display. And for racing games, which are never usually the most demanding games to run, we saw a significant bump here in the frame rates and how great the game looked. And as we get more news on this console and an opportunity to see exactly how it performs, I'll be bringing you these news as we move ahead. Well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.